There are a ton of options to learn to code online. Three of the big ones are Udemy, Pluralsight, and Treehouse. Today, we're gonna to look at all three and see the differences, uh, what the strengths are, some of the weaknesses, and what's gonna work best for you. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna take a look at Udemy, Pluralsight, and Treehouse and compare all their features. So it's gonna be more organic, more free, but we're gonna to try to stay on topic here. So let's go ahead and first take a look at Udemy. Udemy is an open marketplace. Anyone can go there and post courses, not just on web development, but uh, web development programming has taken the online learning uh, industry by storm. They have a whole bunch of courses that you can look at and usually anything that you want to learn is going to be on there within reason but but for the most part like node.js uh, mongodb php they're all here and it's done per course so you pay for the course keep it forever that can be really good if you're going to come back to that for instance i have a node.js course uh, by An anthony alicia come back to it all the time now taking a look at plural site if we come here we sign in it's it's um more geared towards professionals and the way that you pay for this is $29 a month or or let's see I think I have it up here I do not but it's $29 a month or uh, $2.99 uh, annually if you pay up front so you save uh, 30 bucks or so or 60 bucks by doing that something to think about but it's all geared towards software however they have courses on design and uh, UI UX as well but it's mostly geared towards software now if we take a look at treehouse they're all about web development but it's um, done at a uh, subscription base as well it's twenty four dollars a month and they offer usually beginner to intermediate courses on uh, programming and stuff very interesting uh, um, to see the differences here but if you're just starting out I suggest uh, maybe looking at treehouse or even uh, Udemy as well but um, it's going to vary. You're going to have to look at the ratings here. Uh, that's one thing that um, Treehouse does not have is uh, ratings from students. It's all there. And they also, um, they really vet their instructors. Uh, Udemy and Pluralsight are somewhere in between. Like like a open marketplace is what Udemy is like. And then Pluralsight here is more like a... Uh, they, they vet them, but the, the guidelines aren't as strict as with Treehouse. Like they have a production team and, and those people are on staff where they'll bring someone in through uh, plural site and, and they have to follow this kind of these guidelines and they'll have the production team kind of help with the slides and stuff, but it's not as, um, not as uh, well produced, I guess the video itself as something like, um, something like Treehouse. So, Keep that in mind. Treehouse has higher production. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at a video here. And, you know, if it is a little bit uh, choppy, I do apologize. This computer is working hard. It has four screens up. But let's go ahead and see what we can see. Tests are awesome. They document the way your code is intended to work and ensure that when you change something... All right, so they have this great introduction. And this is on all their videos and great production. You can see that uh, they have proper lighting. They have a nice camera. If we do something like... Um, Udemy actually versus plural site. Let's see if I can pull that up. Like I said, it is hard to keep track of all these windows. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, one of those courses. Hello and welcome. Thanks so much for joining in. I'm Andrew and I'm very excited to show you what React can do. So you can see this is actually pretty well produced too, but the difference is, is this is put on by the individual. So Andrew Mead here, it was up to him to provide uh, all the video production or hire them. So it's going to be different between videos and some courses aren't going to be as well put together as this. And so that's something to take note of if you're looking through courses and you can preview them yourself. But when we look at Treehouse, excuse me, when we look at Pluralsight, we're going to see a, um, a big difference. They are all over the place uh, in later years, but now um, after maturing, they have a uh, kind of like a, a templated format. They're going to talk about who the person is, what you're going to learn, and um, it, it's nice. Uh, but the production value is definitely different. So let's go ahead and search for something here. We'll get into searching uh, later as well. Um, let's see, what should we learn? Let's say C sharp and comes up with some auto populated stuff. Give us some time to load, and here are the courses. Let's just pull this up and uh, start the course. Hi, 
Hi, this is Scott Allen, and welcome to my course on the C Sharp programming language. So I apologize about the buffering there, but you can see they have some animations going on. It's more like a slide, but it's going to tell you about who it is and what you're going to learn. Um, it's put together well. Uh, I would say the best introductions are probably, excuse me, sorry about that. The best introductions are from um, Treehouse and Pluralsight. It's, it's going to be kept consistent. So let's go ahead and switch over here to um, to Treehouse. We talked about searching, and you saw how that worked with uh, with Pluralsight, and it is good actually. I do like the way that they they go ahead and um, set that search out. But with Treehouse, it's a lot harder. Let's search for the same thing, C sharp. Okay. So here's the information. It doesn't give you a ton of information. It's hard to filter newest oldest here. It just doesn't stand out. It's not as easy. It doesn't give you a thumbnail or anything like that. Um, so not as good of an experience. It's harder to find what you need. There, There isn't any ratings or anything like that to go by. And if we take a look at, um, if we take a look here at Udemy, if we can just pull that up, see if I can get the, the right screen here. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go ahead and um, look for courses. Same thing. C sharp. I think we all already went over this, but here you have the course, a brief introduction, lectures, hours, beginner level, uh, the ratings, uh, how many people, how many ratings there are. It's it's well thought out, and it's because you're buying it per course, so you have to make a, a more um, invested decision where the Treehouse and Pluralsight are subscription-based, and that's kind of a bummer. At least with um, Pluralsight, though, here they give you a discussion area so you can learn about the course before you take it or during it. You can see what people have been saying about it and, and what's going on there. Uh, with Udemy, you get the reviews. So let's go ahead and open this up, actually, and see the reviews down here. Here's a 4.6. Here's the instructor feedback. You, you get the idea. And here are all the reviews and what people have put and how long, how long ago. And you get a nice overview here. With Pluralsight, you get that as well. In the description, but it's it's not as thorough because it's a, it's a subscription base, and these people are uh, kind of like contracted through um, Udemy or excuse me, Pluralsight. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and switch over to Treehouse so I can show you what they have. So here's Treehouse. When we get in here, nothing, like like nothing here. It just gives you a video and what you can learn and. Here's a challenge, but they do have a forum that you can go ahead and look at, and they do actually have the instructor here. So, you know, there's that. Well, you know, let's go ahead and take a look at these all together again. Here's Treehouse, good for intermediate and beginner. Not a lot of search friendly. This is good for beginners. They have a lot of all the foundational skills. Uh, Pluralsight is more for intermediate to advanced. They're going to have skills on on a lot more classes on those topics and they have some on the beginner level but it's not as um, not as uh, thought out the production quality isn't as, as good because they already assume that you have a, a pretty good background um, but you can still learn from them and they both have um, formats but uh, Pluralsight is not as well format as, as these guys and, and they have to bring in a lot of experts you can't have all those people on staff all the time and then here with, uh, let's see here, we got Pluralsight, excuse me, this is Treehouse. With Udemy, with Udemy we have uh, an open marketplace where there's tons of ratings and reviews and you're going to find the best stuff coming to the top, which is great um, because there's so many different people there. And all the teaching styles are different too, which can be good or bad, but you're going to find whatever you need because they've been around for so long and it's going to be really thorough. So if I want something on Node.js, I'm going to find like maybe even like a 12 hour to 25 hour course where something with uh, Treehouse down here or Pluralsight, I, might, I may not find that or it may not be as in-depth or from the ground up from start to finish. Uh, so those are my thoughts on these platforms. This one is Udemy is pay per course. Uh, Pluralsight is $29 a month or $299 uh, if you buy it all up front, so save yourself 60 bucks. Treehouse is $24, I don't know if I told you that, but $24 a month. And they offer tech degrees and uh, some paths for learning as well. Uh, we didn't go over that, but if you go ahead and go into Treehouse, you can see that they have paths here. I think it's right there. And so does um, Pluralsight. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. 
So what platform stands out to you? Which one are you gonna get? Are you gonna get two, maybe all of them? I do that when I need to. I just go ahead and get the resource that works best for me. Let me know in the comments and we'll go ahead and talk about it. Well, that's it for this week. Of course, if you like this content, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell notification to go ahead and get an update on every single video I put out. That's it, keep on learning and I'll see you next time.